Good luck. Um, yeah, since this is unrated, I guess I've put this, I saw there was a setting to randomly shuffle the tiles. I thought this could be fun. Um, I do have a script that can auto-rotate the board when my mouse hovers over and uh, is no longer hovering over the board. But that doesn't make sense when playing against HastyBot because it's always my turn. But yeah, I will need all the luck I can get. <laughs> um, but we got a blank. So... Yeah, we just had that interesting lesson from strategy about like having some awareness of the value of the double word scores, the triple word scores, and triple letters and such. Um, and I seem to remember through the Woogles about pages, there's some links to some other guides. And one of those includes like this 150 page PDF, which points out this interesting observation that you can see like here, there's a triple word score or triple letter to a double word, double letter to double word, double letter to double word. Like this stuff eludes a beginner that you could score a lot of points on those lanes. Um, for my part, I'm just going to try to get some tiles played and try to balance my letters a little bit and see what's the best that comes to that. I do like an open board because to some extent HastyBot is a little bit predictable. It doesn't play defense, so I can do some pretty risky moves. Um, and try to profit from such risk later. It does not try to block anything that I try to set up, so... Yeah. We got the G played. We got the J played and the G played. So we're not in a bad spot. Um, aside from, like, being extremely confused about how to play this. Um... So, I want to play one of my doubled O's, maybe one of my doubled T's, and I want to play the D. Um, wait. Yeah, we don't have, like, rotated, which would be awesome, but we don't have that. So, what do we do? I mean... This comes to mind, but it opens this double-double lane, which seems risky. But I am putting the two-point tile that's not the easiest to double-double through. Um, HastyBot did just play OI. It's possible that whatever direction HastyBot builds out, with this letter combination, I could strike back somehow. So... Yeah, also it's possible it might just bingo on the other side. Because, you know, hasty bot. But this time, um, Iraq is a little bit balanced. Um, yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be a good conversation. Alright, so if I were any good at finding high probability bingos, um, this would be a good time to do that. Um, so here's a double-double. Uh, ED is a nice suffix. I don't even need to get the double-double bonus. If I just play all the tiles, that's probably not terrible. Although, it'd be better, preferable, to hit both. But, am I smart enough to do that? I don't know. We could try it. Um, let's see. Like, I'm trying to spell words like tremord or something. I, um, I-E-D. If there's some chemical, it might end in I-D-E. I don't know. I should just shuffle this around a bit. There's a study, I think, that said players who shuffle their tiles tend to score slightly better. But this is probably among amateurs who haven't studied a lot of words. I guess the study. I forget where I found this. 
and it seems hard to reproduce anyway. But I see ER. ER is definitely a common suffix, so IER is also a common suffix, so... Uh, what could we spell? Um... Also, I'm going to lose on time at this rate, but I shouldn't worry about that just yet. I'm terrible at these blank bingos. It takes imagination. <laughs> Meteor. Yeah, how about that? Um... Hmm. Yeah, entertaining and finding good plays are not easy to do at the same time. Yeah, I could hear you there too, because like M tends to play at the beginning of a word. Um, I-O-R is also an interesting suffix. Uh... Yeah. Anyway, I'm not finding a bingo, and I've spent seven minutes, so do I keep... Do we go with the sunken cost fallacy and keep going? How far do I take this? Um... Hmm... It's just a little embarrassing, because I know, like, all y'all have found at least some good play here. Um, it's just me. Uh, but it's okay. Alright, we're gonna play an obscure word, because I don't know what to do. Um... Delver. One that delves. All right. Yeah, no doubt what I played... I mean, it did play off my M and the O. It also burned up the RE, which I didn't so much like. Um, yeah. I wonder. So we know right is a word. Can we... Wait. Oh. I forgot, I don't have Void Challenge on. Well, that's really funny. <laughs> uh, I thought I had Void on. Alright. Uh, yeah, that's pretty great. We got the full Hasty Bot experience. <laughs> Alright. Uh, goodness. Uh, yeah, that's fine, I guess. I've pretty much given up at this point, because if I don't have this in void mode, it's going to be really hard for me to play well. Um, because I can't make up words. Uh, yeah, Motley is not spelled this way. All right. So we'll get to the next game soon. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, at row 14. Oh, that would have been awesome, yeah. I forgot there's two E's in Heighten. So there would... I could have looked for this. 
I looked around like this part of the board, did not look down there. Um, I don't know my twos. All right, that stayed. Y A is valid. Sweet. Um, what to do? Yeah, we'll get to the next game soon. Hey, there's 24 points. I don't see a better way to... Okay, nicely found. Impressive, honestly. Um... Yeah, I think a lot of people would have struggled to find love seat going to the T there. But not hasty bot. <laughs> Alright, we've got no KNOW, which was going to leave us with a terrible leave. But at this point, I'm down 230 points. So, how much do I care? I don't know. Wait, isn't W-O-H valid? It is not valid. Alright. What am I imagining? I don't know. Um... Wait. A C A C I A. Huh. Don't know what that means. Maybe I should challenge it. <laughs> uh, maybe I should challenge it. All right, is this valid? Turk is valid. All right. Hey, guess what letter we got? Um, how are we going to play that? How are we going to play that? I mean, we could play it here. Um, is this the best way to play it? Not that we have a lot of options, but... If we have other options, let's try to find them. Yeah, I, I have no other... Despite having the Q and the U and an E, um, there's just not another place to put, like, Queen down. Or stuff like that. So, we should play this. And move on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that's pretty funny. Um, there is a resign button, but at this point... Um, all right. Nicely done. Let's pass. 559 to 261. A genus of thorny... Uh, leguminous trees and shrubs in Australia and Africa. Ah, that's what makes root beer root beer. Oh, that's cool. Woof. Oh. Uh, I guess, yeah, I must have had woof earlier. I certainly had W-O-H. Um, tried to play that. All right, let's... Let's see if I can get, um against the computer this time can I pick the challenge rule where I can 
try outwards. Yeah, let's try this and maybe do better this time. All right, no wishing it good luck this time. Um, it exchanges again on turn one. It knows something's up. All right, let's do this unorthodox opening. Oh, well, clearly what I opened with opened for hibiscus. So, hmm, that was a risky play. If only I'd seen hibiscus, maybe I would have thought twice about this. All right. How about UX? No, all right. So, what do we do? Thirty-four points. All right. Oh, it scores another bingo. All right. We are on a roll this game, aren't we? Um. Unfortunately, I've not studied bingos that involve three R's. Hmm. I mean, we've got like nearer, but that's not a bingo. Uh, earner. Um. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have a bingo here. Oh, ni is not valid, is it? Uh, also, like, this leave ERR is not my favorite leave ever. Yeah, NI is not valid. Um. Hmm. I don't like this. But... How do I use more than one R and an E? I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, there we go. That I can live with. Nearer, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it did look a lot like my phony, that's true. Benyel. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, we don't see these words every game. It's good that HastyBot can show us this stuff. All right, so let's put ER aside. Um. Yeah, I don't have a five-letter word out of the rest of this. Um. So K could go here. Like, I could put Keen, and that would leave us with uh, R-U-T. Um, I don't see another way to hit the triple word score. So this is probably fine. Uh, how many did it score? It scored 22 with this, Toya. So we got, like, Untrue and then a D. Um, UN is a strong prefix. It matches a lot of words. I don't think untrued, um, like I can't just put the D at the end and call that a word. And even if I could, where would it play? So... Yeah, it'd be fun to do, like, N something ending in a D here. Um, I don't see that being viable either. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think playing to the R letter twice um, is probably best there.
I mean, this score is 8. Um, actually, just playing true itself might be better. Or tune. Uh, I don't know. Cycling through letters could be fun. I'm too curious, and I like opening boards too much to avoid this, so... Yeah. Hasty Bot takes the corner and gives us, like, diapers and stuff, so... Uh, we can play diapers. If I can spell it! <laughs> uh, is this the, even the best place to put it? Could I have some crazy nine through the K-I? How great would that be? It's not out of the question, but for me, it's out of my ability. But I could very much see KI taking that spot. But yes, 79 points for diapers. We'll take it. Um, yeah, we've got like Elegy plus I plus A. Um... What do we make of this? Oh, L-Y is a nice suffix, too. Um, hmm. So, let's see. Oh. I guess, yeah, it happened not to be the case of there being some bingo through the KI. That would have been cool, though. Um. <laughs> I could just play ugly here and leave myself with four vowels and nothing to do. It's perhaps absolutely the wrong way to play this. Um... Yeah, four vowels makes it very difficult to do anything on the next turn. So... Let's see, we've got a duplicated E, we've got a Y... Well, L-Y is not bad. We keep hearing that the G is the worst tile in Scrabble. Somewhat in jest, but somewhat because it's not a really good tile for two points. If it had some different number of points on it, maybe we'd think differently about it, but, yeah. Um, either way. Um, playing more bingos on this board looks, for me, challenging, because I'd have to find words that end in T or R, or R something. Um, so that's going to get more difficult over time, especially if I can't balance the rack. Um, so I should not maybe be completely focused on trying to bingo. And maybe just focus on trying to balance this damn rack. <laughs> um, but also, like, I don't know what to do to balance this. So we see 2A, 2E, 4I, 3O in the pool. So we're probably getting an I soon. Um, so we want to play the I. I mean, I could just play like Gid here, but it's not great. Leaves me with three vowels. Um... We don't have the right letters for adage. Um, yeah, this V blocks off the top part of the board here. We could just do YA. 17 points. It's an okay leave. Yeah, so now we've got... Uh, 
an IER suffix, perhaps? Agelier? <laughs> Sagelier? Dagelier? I don't know. Agedlier? Oh, wouldn't this be fun? Yeah, Cagelier, no good. All right. Um, yeah, so all these things we can imagine are great, but just are not playable. Also, there's an N open here. So potentially if I could think of a word starting with an N, and if I had the right letters, I could maybe make something happen. Um... So that's like lineage, except not spelled right. Uh, well, we don't have to deal with having a blank in this rack. I guess that's a small miracle. Again, I want to play off an I, maybe an E. Just looking at what's still in the bag. Um... Yeah, I have no idea. No idea. I mean, we could spell, like, ledge here. And leaving us A-I-R. Problem is, we're probably going to get another I. Um, we have five chances to draw an I out of a bag of 24 tiles. Actually, a lot of the things that are in that bag are difficult to play with. Hmm. So... Yeah, we have duplicated E. We got a G. Um, so I want to try to set something up, but not something so ostentatious that, like, the bot would take it. So how do we play some vowels? Maybe play an I. I did think of Gid earlier. Here it looks even better. Um, assuming it's even valid, if I'm... Like, not making up this word completely. Um, yeah, play off the G. Let's do it. For content, if nothing else. Um, Alright, is WAP valid? <laughs> WAP is valid. 27 points. The bot got to play the Q. Bummer. So... Um, well, at least we didn't get stuck at the queue. Um, on the other hand, let's see. Well, we are down almost 100 points. Um, so, we've got Velt, which is one of those famous words. Does it play anywhere? I don't know. I don't think it plays here. Velter? Velter would be cool. Um, yeah, I've succeeded in locking up this board, which was not my aim. Hmm. All right. I mean, there's this programming language by the name of Vue. It's not playable here. Um, hmm. Oh, wait. There is a word. Do I need the trailing? Well, the trailing E. Wait. What am I thinking of? What am I thinking of? 
I don't know. Ah, Collins. All right. I see. Well, we have E N. Uh, <laughs> envied. There we go. Uh, envelope. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we could make up some fun words here. Oh. So that word I was trying to make up earlier, it, it's over here. Right next to the open T that I complained that I'd never be able to hit. Well, it turns out we hit it. Now can we make something at this lane? Yeah, because I complained about this one too. Uh, oh man. Ten tiles in the bag. But we've got some duplicates. Uh... It's a little embarrassing. Well, we got merger plus a T. Don't know why I would do with that. Merge here is probably not terrible. Well, looking at what's still in the bag, we're going to draw a T or an R anyway. Um... If I'm trying to play to win this, I want to take a chance that maybe I won't get the R and the T. Take some chance and like leave some shot open here for myself. Um, Alright, so we only drew one of those. Uh, we have a lotter. Would somebody who does... Uh, a lottery? Damn, that would have been great. Uh, that would have been so great. I mean, we still have lottery, it's just, this lottery does not win. A lottery, if it were valid, would still not win, but... Oh, that would have been so, so much content. Uh, lottery A, 158 points. Um, yeah. That would be so funny. Alright, I guess we'll just play Lottery. And then stick our A somewhere. And call that a game. Um, strictly speaking, if there was a tournament game, if this was, like, super serious, we should put more effort into trying to win that. But, um... It's okay. Yeah. We got within 100 points of Hasty Bot, so that's decent. Uh, what did I miss this game? Everything? But let's pull up the analyzer. Uh, you can use comma. Well, oh, I thought you could use comma and period to navigate the move list. But maybe if you're like toggling things here too. All right, so the bot favors the move that the bot played, which is exchange tiles. Um, all right, honor would have made sense. Instead, uh, <laughs> either way, it gets to play hibiscus. And, okay, raxes. Wow. All right. That's cool. I missed raxes. Wood bin, woods, yeah. So bingo twice on me. Uh, earner. I mentioned this. Woodbine. Excuse me? A European shrub. It's a woodbine. Now, this, while it scores 30 points and might be the highest equity play, we see right here that it takes a plural woodbines. So, despite the scoring 30 points, that's not the right move. Likewise, this. That might be playable. Rarer. Uh, Reran. This is sketchy because ES could be a hook. Rarer. 
like now you're starting to talk about harder to play stuff here. Although, yeah, I don't know if there's a word that plays under that for lots of points, but rarer could maybe be a thing. Nearer, yeah, lots of high scoring plays that extend that. Rares and rears both seem reasonable. All right. So I did not miss a bingo there, is what I'm trying to get at. Um, it played Venial. And yeah, here my rack is just not super well balanced. Uh, oh, that's cool. What did I play? Keen? Yeah. Alright. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Nurtured, if you know Woodbind. Upturned, unturned, unturned this way, nurtured, unrusted, untenured. Oh, that's awesome. Unturned down there, even if you don't know Woodbind, you still have all these things. So, yeah, at this point we die from embarrassment and move on to the next game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, we missed D paints. D paints. What is D paints? Oh, really? To, it's actually the depiction, the portrayal. So, this is to depict uh, pictorially. That's not how I would have guessed that what D paints means upside. Oh, oh, that's cool. There's a lot of fun geometric terms. Um, so yeah, an apsis, an apse, a domed semicircular projection. Semicircular projection of a building. Huh. Pandy. Uh, to punish by striking the hand. Yeah, so I guess words that have a P in them are not the most high probability bingos ever. Um, yeah. Wait, oh, EST is a suffix. Yeah. While this might not have occurred to me, at least the EST hook should be something to keep in mind upraised yeah capsized just a bit hard to find blank bingos are a bit rough but anyway let's i guess try another one sure why not oh wow whoa s-i-o-n could be a fun suffix futons but I-O-N-S. Uh, I don't know, like... I feel like something like this. Well, fusion's a word, so there's no way this is a word. But it'd be cool if it were. Um, futons is probably not terrible, but if we're playing futon, there's no need to play the S right away. Yeah, I open the board, even though, strictly speaking, this is dumb. Because we just allowed a triple triple on us. Um, I didn't expect it to actually have a bingo through the U. But this is me saying I don't want a parallel play. I want an open board because this is where the variance lies. So, yeah. I think it's still fine. Um, sadly, I don't know what to do with WU. Unswine. I don't know. Unsomething. Unwisen. I don't know. Even if this is valid, is this the right place to put it? Uh. Uh, it would open the board. Oh, Sunwise. Um, Sunwise is a word. Uh, 
Oh, it misses the double. Uh, if I were to play it in this column, there's no double there either. But this does guarantee an open board. Wait, am I an idiot? No, so I can't make the second S hit here. If I played across here, that's no better. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we almost have like Xylem. I don't know. Oh, Fustian. A sturdy cloth of cotton and flax. That's cool. Um, we got marks. Uh, we got facts. I feel like there's got to be something here. We have one vowel. It makes it a little hard to play awesome moves. Um, now here's a spot for an X. Yeah, 54 points. It's not too bad. Gooeyest. Nice. We have zero vowels. That makes it a little bit hard to... Okay. Um, I mean, we could play, like, form, I guess. Um... Yeah, that plays the F and the M. Where else could I consider playing? Not a lot of spaces. Um, yeah, the form is decent. Four meh? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> we learn new things each time the bot makes a move. Wow. Okay. You do you, bot. Um. <sighs> I want to play some of my higher scoring tiles so I'm not marooned next turn. Although we do have mind. Wait, no. But if I play ADZ here trying to block this, um, that doesn't work well because I don't can't play mind anymore. Mind also has a S. So that wouldn't be smart either way. Yeah. I've opened the board and have no way to play this. That's great. And by trying to block what the bot's doing, that's only going to put me further in the red. That's so funny. Um, I mean, we play for the variance, but then the bot just kicks our butt. Um, typey? Typey. All right. Hmm. Uh, maybe I could score something here. 34 points for him. Same score for Hum. But YU is not a word, so we played ham. Okay, yeah, the bot beat me to taking that spot. But still, there could be words ending in zing. Like dozing or bulldozing or something. We got B U L D O. So, like, if I could get another L. I feel kind of morally, uh, morally, uh, morally obliged to try to get bulldozing for content. Because, like, I can't do this with one L, right? I need two L's for bulldozing? Yeah. 
still. We've got to aim for it. Uh, at this point, it, it's too fun a play to not aim for. Uh, how do I make this look like I'm not fishing for it? <laughs> not that the bot cares, but, you know, to, like, somehow uh, excuse this in some sense of, like, maybe this strategy is not a terrible idea. Um, uh, yeah, where do we place stuff? Knee is not a word. I mean, the odds of me getting that L are like zero, so this is completely stupid. Maybe a different day. Ah, bulldozing would have been so funny. So, so hilarious. Whatever. Yeah, we didn't get the L. Um, I'm shooting for this because I, uh, I care more about trying to score that than trying to win the game at this point. Um, so we have IE to play. Ice for four. Okay, now we got JU. I mean, I could just start exchanging because, again, I'm not super attached to this. Yeah, this is silly. But somehow I'm enjoying it. So, um... Yeah, we're just going to exchange J-U. Wait, no. We need the U. It's J-A. That does not build toward bulldozing. So what do we do with J-A? Um, yeah, this does not block my play. B-U... Yeah. Well, no, the bot's going to block my play after I do that, though. Uh, let's build up here instead. Still no L. Um, we have another O, and we have um, E. O, E. Um, yeah. Ah, sadly, yeah, I was trying to get bulldozing. Probably there were other words, too. <laughs> yeah, blitzing, idolizing. Yeah, that would have made sense. All right. Um, well, okay, so this is the point where we can actually concede the game. Uh, if there is there a concede option? Yeah, there it is. Your rating will be maximally affected? Well, this is an unrated game, so sure. Okay. Whatever. Um. Alright. <laughs> that was good fun. Um. Haven't I seen this, something like this played before? Um. I don't know. I don't know my words, um, but like the horns is valid, but then we're stuck with M and G. Um, uh, that's fine. Ah, oh, I missed the sub entry hook. Gosh, if I'd just been thinking about sub entry, you know, maybe I would have picked a different way to play this. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, hmm. Yeah. Idolizing, yeah, it's not as fun as bulldozing. 
Um, all right. There's a word, maybe. Hogger. Apparently there's hogging. There's one who hogs. I guess there's not a comparative form of it. Um... Is this playable? Even if it's playable, I have double O. But, like, I don't care. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, didn't see that coming. Hmm. Hmm. What do you do against that? <laughs> I mean, I guess you have to see it coming, but that's really funny. Um. So when are they going to put like you in the dictionary? Just asking for a friend. Um, all right, we're going to exchange some of these tiles rather than try to figure out how to play them. All right, we got most of the tiles back that we just exchanged. Um... I guess this is the game's way of telling me that I need to try to find a way to play them. This is not smart. Yeah, it turns out actually playing the game is more exhausting than watching it. Who'd have thought? Who'd have thunk it? Oh, Clark is not valid. I guess that makes sense. This game would be easier if I could know what the words were. Um, how about Icer? One who ices. I guess not. So, like, I could play Icier for nine points. Uh, it does yeah. play some letters. All right, we got the Z. Um, so you could spell Bozo for some... 30-something points. Oh, there's actually more horns. Oh! Wow, so horns is bad not only because of the sub-entry hook, but also because there's uh, 11 words. Although two of them are columns only, but still, yeah. Horns is a... This is not the right way to play it. If, indeed, it's playable. Okay. Point taken. Um, so, yeah. It's kind of like this TP play is not... I mean, this horns is so much worse than TP, but still. You don't want to, like, play something that's easily exploited. Um, not that I'm even going to find a word here, but... If I were good at finding words, now would be a good time. Ah, do, do, do. Hmm. Trap boy. How about trap boy? That's invalid, right? Yeah. Don't even know what it would mean. 
It'd be a boy who sets up a trap. Um, I don't know. Uh, Bayport. I could see this maybe being a word, but yeah. Hmm. I mean, there is port. Port Bay. <laughs> um, if we're doing Latin, Portaba, but we're not, or Portara, rather. Um, yeah, Port is okay, but it uses my good letters. Um, is this valid? Oh, okay. Well, looks like we're not winning this one. Um, ER is a nice suffix. But, yeah. The more games I play, the more my mind turns into something that just struggles to think. Um, not that I was doing very well in the first place, but as time goes on, it's just getting worse. Uh, I mean, there's tower for like zero points. Um, let's score something. All right. Yep. This flinch does not. I don't think it has any easy hooks on either end. Um. So we would say that that hurts. Um. Alright, yeah, we got four E's, and nothing to play for here, so let's concede this, and just get another game going. Alright. Alright, maybe I play something rational on turn one. Um, there's a thought. <laughs> it's still bingos. A double blank bingo with a J there. Should have played this down one, but I was trying to open the board. I succeeded, but perhaps a bit too well at my aim. Hmm. Man. The point of opening the board is that it's not supposed to score 85 points while opening the board. It's supposed to score less than that and allow me some chances to win. Um, Yeah, I'm not thinking clearly anymore. Not that I was doing great to begin with, but... Trying to figure out which letters I want to keep is becoming harder and harder. Um... Gulfport. That would have been cool. Um... Yeah, look at these parallel plays. I mean, I caused some of this, and the board, the bot is opening some of this, so what am I complaining about? But still, uh, it's just 
I guess I'm complaining that I suck at finding words. Um, like I see plow, but plow is not easy to play. Um, we almost have like waffle, but not really. Yeah, so few uh, does balance my rack a little bit better, but I don't know what I'm going to do with the P eventually. Oh, well, if I could find a word here like dupe, that'd be a great place to put the E, or P, rather. Um, I don't like having a double L, but... It's perhaps fine. Rhea Anoint. Yeah. So on an open board, the bot's going to find a lot of interesting plays. Um, so, oh, let's try to play off one of the duplicated O's. Clot. I don't know of a hook on the front of clot. So we have an open E here, and we have an open N there. So if I'd studied more words, maybe I would know something to do here. Um, hmm. I'm not going to find anything through the E. I might find something through the R, but also unlikely. Wait, we have five vowels. Yeah, finding a bingo is not going to happen here. Um, so that's cool. Uh, that helps me not. So... Yeah. This is not my greatest rack. And I'm not finding good places to put my vowels. Um, I want to exchange vowels and see what happens. So exchange is for oh oh. I well I don't know. Yeah, this is fine. Tracked. All right. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, finding words is hard. How do people do it? I guess by exercising some control over what gets opened and what doesn't. Um, that makes it easier to know where to look for words. Um, <laughs> Beal. It could Beal be a word. Oh, that'd be fun. Um. Yeah. Okay. I guess B is fine. All right. So S I D E. Uh. There's no way this is a word, right? Damn. Uh. Yeah, that would have been too great. Once in a while, eventually we're going to hit something like that. Not today. All right. But now we have a parallel play up here, probably. Except IP is not a word, so let's try down here. Um, I don't know. Neuroses for like 
Oh, right, you get a 50-point bonus if you play all the tiles. For a second there, I was stumped how that scored 70, and I was trying to mock the bot. Um, but turns out, if you play all the tiles, you get a lot of points. Um, hmm. <laughs> so, I guess somewhere around here is where I could be looking for a word. Um, did I see this word the other day? I wonder. No. I'm making stuff up again. Sorry about that. How about this? An improper plural of stadium. All right. Well, we could try. Hmm. I get the sense that I'm not doing anything instructive and perhaps I should host or raid whoever decides to do something next. I mean, I could keep going, but it, game by game, maybe I should spectate rather than trying to play games. I wonder. But yeah, game by game, this is just trending in the direction where it's just not the most productive thing ever. Um, oh, that's cool. Um... So, Aelnost, it's like Stallion, but not really. Um, yeah, if, if there were an E in here, you'd have like Elastin, uh, I think. I could be making stuff up again. Um. Hmm. Yeah, it's embarrassing that I don't find things here. I mean, I've done this play in a previous game, and I mean, here it's perhaps not the worst thing. It burns up a T, and there's no T in the bag anymore. Um, so should probably shy away from that here. I mean, here we're talking about like me having not very much chance at all to even um, to play anything reasonable. Uh, so... Yeah, the score is 14, which is bad. Um, this is 21. Oh, XU, I guess, is a currency and does not accept a plural. Okay. Um, I wonder, is this acceptable? No. Oh, there it is. Bait. Oh, it's oot, not... Yeah, that's right. 
Um, all right, whatever. Bromelin. Is this something similar to bromine? I wonder. Probably not. Okay. This is uh, Collins only two. Um, hmm. Hmm. Whatever, we're going to play some tiles and get them all down before the timer runs out. There we go. Uh, yeah. So perhaps we wrap it up here. Uh, it was an interesting series. I think I played better toward the beginning of it than the end. But, um... Yeah. I don't know. Shows that we have a lot of... So I'm playing here the North American word list. Previous streams, you've seen me try other word lists. This is the one I'm most familiar with, although clearly I don't know my twos. So I need to work on that. Also, I don't know common high probability bingos, so learning that would probably help too. I guess we could take a quick look through the game, see all the stuff I missed. But, um, yeah, the, uh, so I played XU, uh, oh, Luke's is in this book. I seem to, I thought I have an older dictionary that doesn't have it, but this book has it. Lurex is a trademark. Exult. There we go. IR is not the worst leave ever. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of ways we could score some points. Here I am trying to use the comma and uh, period to navigate the move list. Loitered. That would have been awesome. So yeah. Gotta look for... I mean, I tried. Could not find it. But I gotta look for it and gotta find it then. So... Uh, P foul would have been awesome, but already Iraq is becoming not very well balanced. Unpolled. I forgot that, like, yeah, but also not sure I would have found this, even though I have the ed suffix right there. We tend to think of pole as a noun rather than a verb, but um, it's both. Um. Yeah, okay, so I didn't do completely terrible, it's just, um, in order to play this wide open style, I have to have some skill to back it up, and either that or I have to get tremendously lucky, and neither quite happened this game, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, interesting series, hope we all enjoyed this.